years old. Um, I'll be doing the neurological exam for your eyes, if that's okay with you. Yes. Okay. All right, let's begin. So we'll be performing the visual acuity test first. We'll be holding the Snellen's chart approximately 14 inches away from the patient's face. But first, Miss Tiffany, do you wear eyeglasses or corrective lenses? Yes. How can you have these put on? Sure. Just can I ask you to cover your left eye? All right. So read from the top and then let's see until we're ready. The corrected visual acuity of her patient is 2020 for both eyes. So now I will be testing your visual fields. Um, can I ask you to cover your left eye? Alright. So just look at my eye. Um, then tell me when you can see my finger moving. Alright. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Other eye. Can cover it. Now look straight at me. Can tell me when you can see my finger moving? No. Okay, how about now? No. 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 Okay. Good. Um, upon visual confrontation, there were no field cuts. Alright, next I will be proceeding to the fundoscopy. So, um, may I ask you to look straight um, towards that window over there? Okay. Now just hold your head. So again, look towards the window. So for fundoscopy, the patient had a positive ROR. The patient's optic disc also had good color and shape. The patient had a normal macula and no signs of papilledema. Right. Next, we'll be going for the pupillary light reflex. So again, can I ask you to just look straight behind us? First, the direct and consensual. Okay. Alright. Now we'll be performing the swinging flashlight test. Okay. Next test, the patient had um, symmetrical pupils with three millimeters, both three millimeters in diameter. The patient's pupils were equally briskly reactive to light. Both pupils exhibited um, both direct light reflexes and a consensual response. Upon challenging with the swinging flashlight test, um, there was no sign of RAPD. So lastly, we'll be checking for the extraocular muscles and if they are intact. So, so please follow my finger this way. Over here. Now, here. Okay. And we'll now be checking for accommodation. Please follow my finger. Just focus on it. Thank you. Ocular muscles were intact with no ptosis. The patient was able to move her eyes in all directions. So with that, that concludes our neurological eye exam. Thank you. Okay.